Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's the 13th of May, 2023. I've entitled this video, Certainties. Certainties. There are certain things in life that are absolutely certain. And sometimes the certainties of our life are, we don't want to acknowledge or think about. Some of them are very obvious. And the most obvious one is the fact that we all are going to die unless Christ comes back first. Every single one of us that are listening or watching this video are going to die at some point unless Christ comes back first. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. When I was coming up, there was this, um, oh, I don't know if you want to call it a mythology or whatever about uh, drinking something, and it would cause you to live forever. Some kind of water, live forever. Well, there's no water you can drink that will cause you to live forever unless you're talking about the living water from Jesus Christ that he gave the lady at Samaria. But it's certain that one of these days you're going to die. Now, you don't know the day of your death. You know the day of your birth. It's, you can put the date of your birth on your on your gravestone now, but you can't put the date of your birth, death on your birthstone now, now, on your death, on your gravestone now, put it that way. There are certain things in life that are certain. If you don't keep your ga gas in your car, it won't run. If you don't keep oil in your engine of your car or your truck, the engine will burn up. If you don't keep water in the radiator, your car will overheat. If you take out one or two spark plugs, it's not going to run. If you walk off a 10-story building, you're going to go splat to the ground. There are certain things in life that are absolutely certain. They try to teach you in the universities that there's no absolutes. The only absolute is there aren't any absolutes. But that's a lie. There are absolutes. You're going to die. Your car won't run without gas. Your engine won't run without oil and water. And if you walk off a 10-story building, you're going to go splat to the ground. Well, there are many, many other certainties in life. The other certainty in life is that um, God ordained who you were, would, be to, would be born to, who your parents were. You didn't ordain who your parents were. God ordained it. You did not determine where you were going to live or what kind of car you're going to drive or even what kind of tie you're going to put on. I don't wear ties anymore. But there are certain things that are certain in life. You know? In Him we live and move and have our being, the Scripture tells us. Do you believe there are maverick molecules out there floating around in the air? Do you believe that God is wringing his hands, worried about what's going to happen to his creation? Do you think God has ever been disappointed in what he's done? 
God is declares all things from the end from the beginning from the beginning to the end he said I am the Alpha the Omega the beginning and the end what did Joseph tell his brothers you meant it for evil but God meant it for good isn't that what he told them all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose all of these tornadoes and storms and floods and tsunamis and hurricanes and cyclones and everything they're all ordained by God you can't change them you know so anyway it's good to know there are certain things that are certain it's good to know that God has all things in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, sister, in his hands. He's got the little baby in his hands. There are no surprises with God, for he is ones that he is the one that ordained all things. You may not know the future, you don't know the future. But we do know the past. We can look at the past history. We can look at past events in our lives. And we can be most assured that uh, God's will will be done in the earth and in heaven. We pray that way, God's will will be done, but His will will be done, most certainly. Well, that's what's on my mind this morning. I hope you have a, a good weekend, and I hope you come to the realization that God's in control and you're not in control. You may think you're in control, but you're not. You know, I told a lady one time, <laughs> told me she was going to commit suicide. The only way you'll commit suicide is if God ordained it. It's the only way it'll ever happen. Well, may the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.